Good evening, my name is Kimberly Stewart. My address is on file. I want to start tonight by publicly acknowledging the incredible administrative staff and teachers at Haymarket Elementary for their professionalism over the past several weeks, helping all students and families transition to a better and brighter future. We have truly appreciated their implementation and consistency in new updated policies. They've provided families with support, understanding, empathy, and clear communication. Under the leadership of Mr. Scott Baldwin and his staff, our family want to thank you for making our experience a positive one. Unfortunately, I can't say this for all families and schools, as many parents and students have reported confusion, misunderstanding, misinformation, and false guidance to the updated policies. Without clear direction from county leadership, the new policies were carried out in a variety of different manners, causing chaos, confusion, and uncertainty to families and students. Students were continually put in compromising, difficult, and unfair situations. With lack of communication, leadership, clarity, that comes from the top. And why does this happen? Because Dr. McDade and this board fail to be transparent and informative on their policy decisions and implementation, which is why it's no surprise that in the latest recent power grab, this board tried and Dr. McDade uh, tried to allow Dr. McDade to remove the 30-day notice to public for all policy changes in the name of efficiency. With efficiency comes decreased efficacy, transparency, and accountability. I am extremely disappointed that this board and Dr. McDade find it appropriate to allow policy shifts and changes without public notification that can happen overnight with no feedback, no input by teachers, staff, students, families, and community that it will directly impact. Finally, it seems like we continue to add to the high paying job positions in the office of superintendent to make equitable policies during a time when we can't find enough qualified teachers or additional staff and our teachers face increased classes, class sizes, demands, and lack of resources. If the superintendent's office truly cared about students, every overpaid bureaucrat with a teaching license in this building would be back in a classroom until a qualified teacher can be found. Our students are being placed with long-term subs and teachers without a professional license. It is time that the PWCS leadership in this board lives up to the promises of their office and provide our students with uh, students of this county a quality of opportunity and equitable access to education to find their own academic success. We should be focusing less on equity of outcomes and more on the success of every child through rigor, resiliency, and proper supports. It's time to focus on what matters. Get back to traditional educational values, invest our kids through curriculum that care less about gender and race, and more about preparing students for a world-class education to meet the growing demands of a 21st century global economy that requires critical thinkers, communicators, collaborators, and global citizens ready to create positive change, valuable contributions, innovation, new discoveries, and brighter futures for us all. Thank you.